What's going on everyone? Today we're going to find out if this Ryobi portable pump can pump up my motorcycle tires and much more. What's going on everyone? Today we're doing another unboxing. It's something I ordered, needed for the shop. Someone at my job recommended it. They had one for a few years now, and they've said they've had no problems out of it. So, really excited to have one. Went ahead and ordered it. If you never... Oh, I ordered this from Home Depot. And usually I just go to the store and buy it. That way you get it that day. But I was at work, so I was just went online, ordered it from Home Depot online. I figured it would take a few days to get here. But I actually ordered it on a Friday, and it arrived the next day on Saturday. I mean, that was that was fast. So here's the box that came in. So we're going to open it together with a nice little knife. So I picked this up because, well, as you watch my channel, I have projects. And I needed something to, uh, well, I needed something to pump up the tires, because if you got a project that's probably got leaky tires, yeah. So, what I got is, here's the instruction for the charger, it's a Ryobi tire inflator. So let's see how this is packaged. So we lift this out, there we go, one half, throw that away, there's the charger. Looks pretty good. It's all it's all plastic, has some little hangers on the back. It's not bad. Here's the other box. So I'm guessing yep, it's the battery. So you just open it. Throw more stuff. Comes in a piece of plastic. It's got an 18 volt lithium ion battery. It's pretty light. It's got a little weight to it, but it's pretty light. So, there it is. So in this box is the tire inflator. It's pretty small, but I've been told that it works really well. And it's cordless. So just put the battery in it and you can go anywhere and pump up the tire. You can keep it in your car. Here's the, the book for it. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. Let's get it out of the box. Nothing else in the box. There it is. Pretty cool little size. So on the one side you got, well, there's a couple fittings to, uh, you know, inflate a basketball or a football, other things or balloons, or beach balls, whatever you want. And then, I guess, ah, the main one. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry about that. The main one's got a cord that you can hook up to a tire, which is exactly what I bought it for. And it's about that long. It's got, it's like a nylon hose. And on this side, got a blower so you can just take this hose off put that there you can stick this in there and you can pump up a uh, you know blow up bed or anything that you need to blow up so I'll just put that to the side now so let's see the battery will go through the bottom so let's see if there's any juice in this battery. There should be. Uh, or not. <laughs> oh, yes there is. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Probably be good if I read the instructions. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me come around here real quick. So there it is. 
once you turn it on and then you'll set I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not so you can set it to uh, whatever PSI you want and then you'll kick it on and see the blower oh, yeah. pretty cool so let's see I guess it just turns off after a while I gotta read the instructions more but I want to show you guys what it was like unboxed I've never seen it so I opened it up with you as far as quality it's it's all plastic but it seems pretty you know put together well the battery sits on the bottom so you can just set it on a table or wherever you need to put it seems like it's pretty okay like that but I'm gonna take this outside and we're gonna try it on an actual flat tire see what it does so let's go do that so here we are we're out in the garage this is the tires we're going to pump up today. This is a project I'm going to start showing you guys maybe tomorrow. Uh, so it's got two flat tires, so we're going to use this to pump it up. Which is one of the whole reasons I bought this pump. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to show you guys a bunch of butt crack. Hook it up to the tire. There we go. So you'll take the center button, turns it on. And then you'll just take it, hold it. Until you get to the tire pressure you want. Now, I'm going to cut this to time lapse so you can just watch it actually rise up. So here we are back in the house. Sorry about that. I had to come in. I couldn't record out there. It got windy. You guys wouldn't be able to hear me. So what do I think in the end about the Ryobi pump? It's pretty good. It's really compact, lightweight. You can store it anywhere. And it's cordless. I mean, you can take it anywhere. <laughs> uh, quality on it is pretty good so far. Pumped up my tires on my motorcycle in about three minutes. And that's supposedly what I heard it'll do for a car tire. So that's pretty good. And uh, price isn't bad. I paid around 108 bucks shipped and it took a day to get to me shipping. I, I mean, that was great. I was shocked. So would I recommend it? Yes. Am I gonna use it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna really, really use this thing a lot. Hopefully it holds up. I might do another video after I've been using it for a long time, tell you how it's been doing. But we'll see about that later. But if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it. That way, you know, every time I get a video I put out and you can watch it. I can enjoy it. You can enjoy it. We can make better content together. So let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If you have any questions about the pump, I did not say in the video about this pump. Put it in the comments. I'll answer you quickly what I think, you know, you should do or anything. So until next time, I'll be out working in my garage. Hopefully you're working in yours.